How to clean your dog's ears. In this video, we'll talk about ear health and how you can help keep your dog healthy and know that when they misbehave, it's not because they couldn't hear you. Dog's ears are sensitive organs, and not just because they can hear a wider range of frequencies over farther distances than we do. They can be magnets for dirt and prone to infection, so while the ear is mostly self-cleaning, you may occasionally need to help your furry pal get rid of sand or excess water. Don'ts. If you notice sand or water in your dog's ear, do not use a cotton swab to try to get it out. The inside of a dog's ear is L-shaped, and forcing an object in could not only shove the dirt or sand further in, it could damage the inside of the ear as well. And despite the tips and tricks you might find online, do not use a homemade vinegar mixture to clean your dog's ears. While there's a chance it could work, it's very easy to get proportions wrong. Too much vinegar and you dry out the ear's sensitive skin, too little and you leave more moisture than was there in the first place. And besides, you might end up creating a new problem instead of treating the old. Do's. Always use vet-approved solutions and drops to treat your dog's ears. As we've said before, they're sensitive and your dog deserves the right treatment. There are a variety of options out there for dissolving earwax, evaporating liquid, and soothing irritation. Consult with your vet about which is right for your dog. Make sure your dog is comfortable with you handling its ears. If it seems to be in too much pain for head petting, definitely visit your vet. Otherwise, applying ear treatment is easy. 1. Hold your dog's head gently and securely and quickly deposit the recommended amount of solution. That could be as little as a few drops or, in the case of some wax solutions, a whole earful. 2. Massage the base of the ear from bottom to top so that the passageway opens and closes. Not only does this feel good, this will act a bit like a vacuum and help get the solution around the entire internal structure. This will also help move dirt and wax to the outside part of the ear for easier removal. 3. Let your dog shake the remaining liquid out of its ears on its own. Most solutions are designed to make this easier and evaporate any traces left behind. 4. Take the time to clean and dry the external parts of your dog's ears with a clean gauze pad. This will help prevent re-entry of moisture or dirt. Here are a few quick reminders to take with you. Do not use cotton swabs in your dog's ears. Do not use homemade solutions to clean your dog's ears. Do visit the vet if you notice discharge, fungal growth, pain, head shaking, or ear scratching that doesn't have a visible or known cause. Do use vet-recommended solutions for treating your dog's ears. Do massage your dog's ears to bring out dirt and wax, opening and closing the passageway to spread the treatment evenly. Do allow your dog to shake its ears out. Do clean and dry the external portions of the ear. And give your pup an extra head scritching from us.